All right, welcome back to the RV Max experience. We've got ourselves a treat. This is a 2006 National Tropical T370 Belize. That's the floor plan. Um, these were built in California, owned by Country Coach, and it has some of those characteristics that you'd expect from Country Coach merging their DNA with Nationals. Now, National was originally built in California. They were um, still built in California at this time, Anaheim, I believe and it's an excellent built coach. The frame is going to be a lot more rigid than nine out of 10 other diesel coaches you're gonna find out there on the market. So that is a super big plus that we've got ourselves on this coach. We've also got top-notch insulation and some other nice top-notch features that we'll be walking through here shortly. The face of the bus, unique, one of a kind, only looks like a national Tropical. Um, we've got these stacked headlights here, Headlights are super clean. We've got a 7,500 watt Onan quiet diesel generator up in here. And the face is actually in excellent shape, especially for an 06. There's a couple rock chips, um, definitely a speckling of rock chips right down here on the bottom part, um, but overall it looks good. These colors are excellent. I'm not gonna give you my opinion on which paint color option that you could get on these is my favorite because that's a personal preference, but I'll put it this way. Green is like one of my favorite colors, if not my favorite color. Now this up here is extra storage, um, as well as a main fuse box and electronics compartment. This is not pills, these are fuses. Anyways, look how thick this compartment is. This is super thick. That's because all the compartments are full of insulation. Now we've got a huge propane tank here, massive propane tank. It is a 47 gallon size tank, almost 50 gallons. And these compartments are super cool. So what you can do with them is they will naturally lock in this position right here, which is clearing the slide out, right? But then you push them a little more and they will raise and hold themselves even higher. That is a super nice feature for these compartment doors that are located underneath the slide. Now this is a full pass through storage compartment. We've got a slide out tray that goes out on the other side. Easy access to our slide motor right here. Classic design for the slide, reliable slide mechanism. Bunch of extra little goodies that go with the coach. Um, there's also these nice little metal tie downs um, in the corners of this compartment, which is another nifty little touch. Now you notice how thick these compartment doors are. They're full of insulation. Now this is the same system with this outside wet bay. If the slide's deployed, you can open it up and it'll rest and hold itself in a nice spot. Otherwise, if the slide's closed, you can lift it all the way up. Now here, we've got a clean, nicely laid out plumbing bay, outside shower here. Um, we've got a black tank flush here. We've also got an easy access point for our water heater bypass for you when you winterize the coach. This right here will switch this water inlet to either fill your tank or give you city pressure. Now this right here is another nice add-on that makes winterizing easy. You can open this valve and connect a hose directly to a antifreeze jug and let the pump suck that antifreeze up through the coach. This thing is set up for easy winterizations. There's also a nice little easy fresh, fresh tank dump good bit of space down there. You can easily keep a hose and some other things. Nice little outlet right there specifically for a water hose and it also has a little rubber fitting in there so it kind of makes it a little better sealed than just a wide open hole. And there's also a nice little soap dispenser over there. Dually here, this is a Freightliner XCR chassis, modern nice chassis. And then here's what they do. They build a tubular steel frame all around it. So all these compartments down here are tubular steel. Does that remind you of anybody? Can you take a guess who? Country coach. All of the upper framing is also steel. So these walls are all framed in steel. The upper trusses that hold up the roof are steel. Um, so the frame in all is going to be a whole lot more rigid. And I'm very excited to get this thing on the road and show y'all how it drives on the test drive, which is coming later, so stick around. Now this right here is a nifty little intake for the engine. Open this sucker up. You've got our two chassis batteries located down below. And of course the intake up top. Now this last compartment is where our four chassis batteries are located. And then we've got an automatic transfer switch there on the right. Now this little water is the top off the battery. Now this coach is a one owner coach and we have an incredible amount of service records on this thing. A ridiculous amount of service records. One owner, 
very well taken care of, proud of this coach, makes all the difference when you're buying yourself a used bus, especially this age. Now around back, we've got a nice little unique tail or butt. Um, this has a 7.2 liter Caterpillar um, C7 that's producing about 860 pound-feet of torque and 350 horsepower. Now it pipes that horsepower and torque through a six-speed Allison transmission. It's a 3000 series Allison tank of a transmission. And there is a 10,000 pound towing capacity. This engine is a tank. Kai and I just drove a C7 cat powered coach all the way from California. We put about 3,500 miles on it and I loved that Caterpillar. Um, also, they have a rating called the B50 rating. The B50 rating um, on this coach is about four or 500,000 miles. So this engine with 40 something thousand miles is nothing. It's, it's probably really not even broken in. All right, now the side. There's so many replaced components on this coach um, that I'm trying to remember. And remember, we've got a stack of service records in this thing. This hot water heater was just replaced in 2021. Um, so brand new 10 gallon hot water heater. Furnace is right here, it's a dual zone furnace. There is some paint checking um, on the side, especially in the darker colors. So you're gonna have patches of that here and there around the coach. Um, the coach still looks magnificent to me. You know, if you wanna nitpick it, it's not gonna win a concours, all right? But it's a very nice looking bus. The paint is striking and it doesn't look like it's beat up. It's just paint checking. You're gonna have it, you're gonna have some level on pretty much like nine out of 10 coaches this age. And then if it was garage kept and never used with 5,000 miles, you kind of worried about other stuff outside of paint checking. That's a lot worse than paint checking. Let's check out these compartments. So this right here is extra storage there on the left. Um, we do have vinyl covers. I think those are for the wheel arches because all the wheels are equipped with buttons so you can cut, put those snap covers over the tires to protect the tires. That's a nice little thing that this coach has. This is a 2,000 watt inverter right there. Um, so that is a nice plus to have on this coach. Now this right here, oh, we got some customers here. Got some old customers here. All right, this right here is our hydraulic system for the four point hydraulic leveling system. It's a power level, power gear, four point system. All right, so moving on from here, here are those buttons that I was referencing earlier so you can cover up your tires to protect them. This compartment is openable if you really need to. You can go up underneath and undo the bolts. So then you got access to all your tanks. Now this is the back of our refrigerator. Um, above that, we've got a big electric awning. So this is a nice electric patio awning. We'll open wide up, give you some shade. Now this is the other side of our pass-through storage compartment. Again, super easy access to the motor for the slide. On this side, this is a triple slide coach. And over here, just more access to the storage. Good amount of storage. This is only a 37 foot coach. Now this is the front zone of our propane furnace and we have found ourselves at the front of this coach. I absolutely love this entrance door. Look at this shaped window. It's beautiful. It reminds me of an American coach um, and it's just nice too because if you have a car here you can kind of see them. Now these two front windows were replaced. This window and the window for the driver are brand new. They were recently replaced. No fog. Anti They're supposed to be never fog windows. Very expensive to have done. Glass looks really good. Um, also have a new motor in that step. And there's a whole lot more. Again, I'm blanking because there's so many service records I can't remember it all. Let's go and check out the inside. All right, what's up? We're on the inside. This thing's got a triple slide floor plan. We've got two big old slides up here that bust open the front. Um, that is a pretty deep slide. Typically, um, the galley slides are not as deep as that one, but that one's got a pretty good size on it. Of course, on the driver side, we've got that super slide. Nice couch, all the upholstery is in top-notch condition. There is a pull-out air mattress underneath here. All the fabric around the windows is super clean. Headliner is super clean. We've got a nice leather type material for the headliner. Um, the dinette has this nice wood trim piece that goes all the way around it, which I absolutely love. That dinette will turn into a bed. There are a ton of owner's manuals, the original box to hold your owner's manuals come with the coach. Um, as you can see, it's got the uh, serial number. I don't, well, actually, no, I don't know if it has a serial number, but it's got the floor plan size. It's this exact coach. There's a barcode. There's another number, which I'm sure uh, pertains to this specific unit. There is the coach number from National 34015 or 34015. Now, the windows are in excellent shape. They all have a tent on them. There's no fog in these windows back here. There's one window I've noticed with fog, which I will show here. Uh, oh, by the way, just wanna speak on the carpet. So this is all nice, hard 
linoleum right here. We got linoleum tile from the entrance all the way back up until you get to the bedroom, um, which is nice. Um, but there is carpet over here. In this carpet, we are gonna have shampooed, so it should come out looking nicer than it currently looks. We have not shampooed it yet, but we will have that done. Um, other than that, it is in pretty good shape. You know, over here where the slide rolls along it is a, kind of a mark from the slide going back and forth on it. Um, that should be helped with the, with the shampoo though. I love the little pieces, uh, like this is so interesting. Like they have sort of like leaves. Um, it's just a nice little trim piece, you know? It feels special, it feels unique. It feels like a national in here. Now over here, we've got a big stainless finish Dometic RV refrigerator, extremely clean. And this will run on either gas or electric and it does have an ice maker. Now this over here um, is our nice Corian countertop galley space little Corian backsplash there, mirror, two nice lightweight Corian inserts, which I, which I quite like, that is covering our three burner um, Atwood stovetop. Now this is a new replaced in 2021 um, GE Profile stainless microwave slash convection oven. And it's one of many other parts and things that have been replaced on this coach. Again, one owner bus, ton of service, very well taken care of. Now over here um, is our slight fog in the window. And honestly, I don't even notice it right now. I can see clear, clear through it, but I know in the right daylight, you can see a little bit of fog there. Oh, there's a light there. I didn't have that on, nice. Now here's some extra storage. You know, the woodwork is very nice in this coach, as are all the drawers. These rollers feel really good. And the cabinet work is top notch. You know, this is not like a freaking King Air, but the woodwork is nice. And I also like how there's carpeting in these lower compartments here. Looks like some Dawn soap was spilled right there. That might come off with a little shampoo, definitely, especially if it's Dawn. But anyways, it's all carpeted, ton of storage up underneath there in space, clean carpeting, nice woodwork, nice drawers. They feel really good and smooth. Sink is kind of cockeyed, comes out here, which I like. Dual stainless sink. Nice looking faucet, water filter over there or for filtered water. And then there's a nice extension made out of Corian. This is a nice new recliner. This was replaced, so it's in perfect condition. I love this area right here um, because it's a nice work area, desk area. There's room underneath it to put your feet, like a proper desk. And then there's this nice piece that comes out um, where you can put a keyboard or you can just comfortably kick back in the recliner and have your laptop or whatever here. And there's a window so you can see out. This is such a great little workspace. It's quite fantastic. There's an extra little shelf down below there, power outlets all up next to it. A um, little bit of storage up top. Nice setup. Now, um, the dinette, by the way, does have these extra drawers, which I really like. They're carpeted too, so extra storage space down in there. Let me shut that. This does have um, a speaker system that goes kind of throughout here, by the way, and there is an older Toshiba TV up in the front. All right, let's go take a peek at the back portion of this coach, but one thing I forgot to mention is we've got this nice big pantry here, very deep too. Okay, slide the nice rolling, smooth rolling pocket door out of the way, and here we go. We've got our main bathroom space, all linoleum up until you get to the bedroom. Big sink here, I like the extra width they've given around this little stainless bowl so you can set things down. That is the cleanest soap dispenser I've seen in one of these things. Um, medicine cabinet behind the vanity. You've got a large shower here. Let me open this up. I mean, I'm serious. I try to keep it real as much as possible. This is actually a big shower. I mean, there's a good bit of space around here. I absolutely love this. It feels very big, very large, unique shape. I'm 5'11", so that'll give you a reference. A nice, beautiful skylight here. Um, so a ton of extra space up in there, a clean looking um, high end shower here. Now under the sink, of course, there's a bunch of space. Again, nice feeling woodwork, nice feeling drawers. And across from this, um, of course, also we got a little vent here, but there is our toilet room. Now the toilet was replaced. So that's not the original toilet. It's a Dometic porcelain toilet, but nice wood, nice little trim pieces around the uh, window here. There is a built-in sink in this bathroom, which I love. There's plenty of space in this toilet room and having its own sink is sweet along with its own vanity. There's a little exhaust fan up top. 
nicely lit. Um, more storage that's actually bigger than it looks across the way. More storage down below. Very nice toilet room. Let's shut this and here is our bedroom. Carpeted again, clean carpet, queen size bed. Um, we've got nice built-in wood hamper here. Five drawers located all in this dresser. Big window. Um, cabinets up top. Recessed lighting up here. Old school TV which can easily be changed out. This is a massive extra storage cabinet, but you can turn this into a washer dryer combo um, if you'd like because there are washer dryer hookups right behind there. Now there are some step ups here. Um, I'm 5'11", so I'm giving you an example. I'm having to bend over just a, just a hair. Um, there's a drawer on this side, big countertop on this side, um, and then there are some outlets on this side too. Now this is our wardrobe. So wardrobe opens up. Built in California, got the original National RV Inc. sticker on this coach. Big extra space back in here, and the slides are quite nice. The mirrors are in good shape, no cracks or anything. Locks are in good shape too, and as you can see, we've got plenty of wardrobe space. So nice amount of storage and total on this bus. And I also love this huge window that's above the headboard. That is unique. Normally you get the windows on the side, but instead we've got that huge window here. So what I like about that is you can be asleep down here and have this wide open and not worry about privacy. That's a nice touch. And it's an emergency window too. It's a huge freaking window. So you can jump out from the bedroom if you need to. This is triple slide floor plan, only 37 feet, ton of store. Oh my gosh, I didn't even mention these. Extra drawers here, check it out. My gosh. The more time you spend with any RV, the more you learn about it. What we do before we sell a coach, we check through all the main systems, all the fundamentals, um, and we also warn you that, hey, used coach, new coach, whatever, they break at some point, all right? Um, so we try to make sure that it's gonna be a good experience. You're gonna have your good plumbing, you're gonna have a good toilet, you're gonna have your air conditioners. We go through and check all that stuff. Um, but again, these aren't perfect. All right, that was a lot of fun. Let's get on the road. All right, we're driving into a beautiful sunset and I conveniently have a semi truck blocking the sun, so that's nice. But the coach is a very nice feeling bus. Um, you know, I just drove another Freightliner bus across the country that doesn't have the tubular steel chassis design. And there's nothing against that coach, but you can definitely feel a difference in the rigidity of the chassis. Um, the first time you notice it is going over bumps. That's actually the, the biggest time you'll notice it. But also, it's just easy to keep it centered. It feels kind of small. Um, the coach drives very nicely. I feel a slight vibration in the front two wheels. We might have a low tire. We'll have to check into that. I, haven't, I did not check the tire pressures, which is an amateur move, but we just had our driver drive it down from Maryland where the original owner kept this coach and he was quite impressed with it. And he's a mechanic that's typically hard to please. He's, he's very negative about things and he loved it. He loves cats too. The cats have that longer leg longevity uh, than the comparable Cummins, the 5.9. Nothing against the 5.9, but the 7.2 has a B50 rating of 400 to 500,000 miles. But the whole upper frame is quite nice too. The, the, the noise in here is pretty quiet. There's not a lot of rattles. That's something that they were bragging about in these national coaches. Because the walls and the roof are all framed in steel, you've got a much more stiff upper frame. So you've got less vibrations and things like that coming through and shaking the cabinets and everything in the bus. All right, just in case you don't trust this slimy sales guy, I have a trusted opinion of a happy customer. And he's about to take over. Special guest, Mr. Tom. Come on out. Let's swap. So Tom is okay. driving. It's not his typical heritage. No, what but you think? no. I thought it was a nice little coach. I think that the pickup is great. I mean, it's it, it handles great. You know, the uh, response that you get when you're uh, when you're driving is a little different than the heritage, of course. <laughs> so I got 650 horsepower in that. But <laughs> this is for a small coach, pretty peppy, I think. Yeah, it's not the 650, but power to weight is pretty good on these cats. Yeah, I, I, this is the first time I've driven a cat, and uh, I'm pretty impressed, you know, with uh, how responsive it is. Because uh, you know, I've driven the Freightliners before, but uh, this seems to be a lot more responsive than the Freightliner that we had in the Holiday Rambler. It's my opinion. I think whoever buys the coach, you're gonna get a good coach. Mm -hmm.